Welcome to an exclusive skill capped guide for BFA patch 8.3. Throughout the final season of BFA, we'll be releasing select guides from our site here on YouTube. If you're interested in seeing more new content like this every week, alongside our exclusive matchup review series in which we cover in detail exactly how to win the hardest and most popular matchups, head over to skillcap.com. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Knowing Your Enemy guide. My name's Joe Fernandez and I'll be going over 5 ways to counter Feral Druids. For this guide we consulted Cassidy and used clips from Mock Fernando's stream, two very high rated Feral Druids in the EU scene. If you want to see more high rated Feral action, be sure to check out their streams. One way that may come as a surprise to non Feral Druids which players could abuse more, is to make the feral debuffs on yourself fall off. The best way to try and avoid this is by not stacking with your teammates, which is especially needed when they are multi-dotting your teammates. This increases their damage a lot, so being spread makes it more difficult for the feral to reapply all of their dots. Feral has 5 combo points to Ferocious Wounds, so they will look to refresh this when the debuff is about to fade. We can see here the Feral just about refreshes his Ferocious Wounds as the Windwalker runs into him. If the Windwalker kited away for these last few seconds, he would have dropped the debuff and only have one stack of the Ferocious Wounds reapplied. Being far away and kiting the Feral will make it harder for them to create as much pressure. Even if the Feral does reconnect in this situation, it would take them a while to rebuild their pressure as they'd need to reapply their bleeds. Another main weakness of Feral, which is more known, is that they are squishy in stuns, allowing you to kill them during stun windows. In general, outside of stun windows, Ferals have an incredible amount of mobility, allowing them to weave out of scary situations and end up living with good kiting. However, Ferals have a low amount of defensive cooldowns as well as being incredibly vulnerable during stuns. You basically want to stun them with crowd control on their healer whilst you burst them down. The main golden rule is to stun them outside of bear form, but this is only of significant value when you are a melee hitting them. You should have as much burst damage as possible during these moments, in order to take them down whilst they can't use survival instincts. That way when the feral uses it, if the feral's too low on health, they can go down through their only defensive cooldown. This will be your most reliable way of killing ferals, which is even more prominent when they have no trinket for your stuns, being unable to deal with your burst onto them. One kind of weird way to counter a feral druid is simply by using certain gear pieces against feral druid teams. The main piece of gear that comes to mind is the engineering helm. It has a trait called auto self cauterizer, which is incredibly powerful against feral druids, as it can remove their bleed effects, nerfing their damage. It even gets rid of gushing wound, making it very valuable. Another good piece of gear could be the Maledic Trinket, as it can deny a ton of Feral off healing. It can be a way to deny their heals when going for kills, as a lot of their heals are passive or instant, which would be unavoidable, as well as the Feral themselves having no way of getting rid of this magic dot. Be wary though, as using the Maledict will depend on the comp you play, as well as how you beat the opposing Feral comp. You'd also have to coordinate this well with your teammates in order to not waste this trinket. For example, you could end up using the Dresser Gaff trinkets if you're a melee cleave instead, as this deals a ton of damage to hit Ferals if you can reliably hit it on them solely. This leads us to the fourth point, which we touched on a bit, is to stop Feral Druid off heals. Feral Druids have a surprising amount of passive and on-demand healing that can significantly help their team live. The only heal that you can stop is regrowth, which the Feral could spam when their teammate is in trouble. As you can see, it can help them live quite effectively. By interrupting or crowd controlling Ferals during their regrowths, you will stop more off heals and make your offensive goes even more dangerous. Now, the last, and certainly not the least part in my books, is of course the play around thorns. This mainly applies to melee against feral teams, as you will usually have to deal with this ability, which can deal a ton of damage to you if you hit into it. Hitting into it is never really the answer, unless you can get a kill. When you keep hitting into thorns, it deals a significant amount of damage to you. Combined with petrol from the feral druid and his teammates, this can easily get other defensive cooldowns if you don't stop hitting into it, as showcased here. The Demon Hunter was hitting into Thorns whilst the Priest was in crowd control, forcing out three major defensive cooldowns in quick succession, leaving them vulnerable in the near future. So, how can you deal with this if you want to keep hitting a target that has Thorns up? Well, most classes can actually go through this by using a self-defensive cooldown of their own. An example is DKs being able to use AMS whilst training a target, 
absorbing a ton of thorns pressure. Note that even though this can be a worth trade, if you want to go through thorns for big pressure, it will also leave you vulnerable afterwards if the enemy team has big magic damage. Here's another example where a warrior training a priest uses spell reflect to reflect back some of the thorns pressure. However, this opens him up to being cycloned, unable to have spell reflection for this, reducing his pressure significantly. Even though these ways can be a nice deterrent against thorns, it really depends on the situation for you to make good use of this, usually when you're sure you can get a kill. The best way of dealing with this, which any class can do, is simply to swap off the target with thorns for the time being. If you see thorns up on your current target, and you know you can't force defensive cooldowns or land kills, then you should simply go on another target when you can, gaining pressure elsewhere and nullifying thorns, taking zero damage from it. That summarizes the five ways to counter fail druids. Hope you enjoyed this guide and feel free to make any comments or questions down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.